It's crazy. I remember being a kid and I could tell you everyone who played on the map since like 2002, all their games. So it's pretty cool to not only want to play in the NBA as, as a kid, but to play for your favorite team growing up. So I did, a, I did a workout with the Mavs, a pre-draft workout, it went really well, and then after the draft I didn't get drafted, and then the Mavs signed me to a small deal, it was you know non-guaranteed, partial guaranteed little deal. So I played summer league with them, and then I was with the Mavs all during training camp, and then I got cut sometime in October. I had options, I had option, a good deal to go over to Russia, overseas, I speak Russian, so on paper it was a really good fit for me, but I just had a feeling like, don't go. So I decided to stay and come with the legends. I mean, I expected, I was like, dominate, you know, I was like, hey, I signed a little deal with the Mavs, almost made the team, you know, I expected just to dominate, you know, things didn't go my way. I felt like I was playing out of position. It was just an adjustment, you know, with the speed of the game. So I started playing really, really well, and I started feeling like myself again. You know, I was making outside shots, doing things I needed to prove on, and then that ankle injury kind of just, you know, put me in a position to where I had to either keep going or, you know, kind of readjust what I wanted to do. So it put me in a tough position mentally, but I think that position was what put me into the position I am now. We gotta work here! Let's go! Let's get it done! I talked to Coach Mack and I was like, if I come back with the legends, me and him both just knew from the work I put in and my mental side that I can make it to the NBA. So big improvements, biggest thing, I came into training camp with the legends in great shape, which put me at a huge advantage early on. Came in great shape, you know, I was working hard and improved on a lot of things and it started to show and in the beginning of December I really really started to play well played how how I play Collinsworth lays it in and the legends back on top I never pictured getting called up I wasn't you know with the Mavs as like they have Antonis Cleveland they have all these guys I just never really pictured the Mavs I knew it was gonna get called up I knew it was gonna happen but I got the call from the Mavs you know Antonius got hurt and that opened up a spot and Coach Mack called me at, I think it was midnight. I was just in the hotel across the street from here and he said, uh, pack your stuff and be there tomorrow at 9.30. Here we go, NBA debut time. And Kyle Collinsworth goes in. I honestly wasn't too nervous at all, I was just excited. I made sure to get all the buttons on my pants already buttoned off because I have a hard time sometimes with that so I didn't want to get stuck with that so I got that already and then I just went in and I think two three possessions into the game JJ threw me a pass out and I shot a three and made it. Collinsworth with a rainbow three to open his account to the NBA. It was very it was very cool because that was like he something I needed to prove I could do and to step up and that was the first shot nothing but net in my NBA career was very Satisfying, gratifying. McDermott up to Dirk. Dirk, the smart play. So I first signed a two-way contract, and you know I was with the Mavs for 30 straight days. I just stayed up with the Mavs, and then they took me off the two-way, and I wasn't sure what to think. They signed me to a 10-day a few days later. Then a few days later, after that 10-day, they signed me to another 10-day, and then there was like a four or five-day break. My mindset through all that was just one day at a time. Just staying in the present and just control what I could control throughout the whole process. It was great just to be able to sign you know, and be like official member of the Dallas Mavericks, finally. The legends, what's great about this place is here there's a culture that when you come here, you can get called up. It's not an if, it's 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 a reality, like you can, if you really put in the work and you know, Coach Mack, he makes it happen. He gives you the opportunities. He's talking to coaches all the time, GM. So it's just a great place where we know that you can get called up 
and as teammates we push each other. You know, Jamil, one of my best friends, he, we were always great at keeping each other going through the good times and bad times of what we really wanted to accomplish. So great organization for this and there's just a good feel that you can make uh, your dreams a reality here. So I loved it.